but look at this bread look how yummy it looks um it tastes wonderful and <clears throat> it's like really Hey guys, welcome back to Fidget Spire Home and Garden. Hey, I lost my cinnamon raisin bread beginning recipe, so I'm going to kind of narrate it a little bit for you. That way you can see where I'm headed, okay? The recipe is going to be in the description down below. You're going to use one fourth cup of water, uh, one tablespoon of honey, and two tablespoons of um, active dry yeast. You're gonna put it in a bowl and let it perforate or proof or whatever you wanna call it until um, it becomes real foamy. That usually, for me, I went and did some errands and came back and it was probably about an hour or two later. So that was in Colorado. Everything that I do is in Colorado. I also have salt and then a couple tablespoons of vanilla. So, and six eggs, all mixing together. So right now in a few, well, actually in a few seconds, it's gonna go right into the video. And right into the video is going to be where I'm going to start adding the warm milk that I put in the microwave. And I give you the information on that too, so that it makes the bread nice and soft. And I think you're really going to enjoy this recipe, so stay tuned for a few moments of time so that we can get into the video. All right, guys, I forgot to tell you that you want some warm milk. Um, I just used coconut, or no, almond, and it's with vanilla in this. And this is probably about two cups. I forgot to tell you that you want to also make sure if it is warm, make sure you are tempering it because it will turn your bread into scrambled eggs and you don't want that. So. That's another thing that we didn't discuss. So I'm going to start adding in the flour, like I said before here. And we'll start adding it in slowly, just a couple cups at a time, probably about six cups is what I'm thinking. Just because there's more moisture in this bread. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute when it's ready to go for the next.
And I think these have been actually sitting in my dehydrator for a week, but they've been done for like a week. So you don't want to overdo it with the dehydrator time. See how it is after 24 hours. See if you need more time, you know. Um, I've got a really nice fancy one that I like um, that I got off of Amazon. Um, very nice one. Um, I got a nice one because I needed a nice one because I dehydrate the dog's food a lot. I mean, not their food, but their treats. So you can also see some other dehydration videos and I'm probably going to come up with for the summer because of course fruit is going to be easier to come by hopefully. Um, there's a mango recipe that's really good. A couple other things that I'm going to do too. So I think we'll have those coming up hopefully. I'll have to write it down so I remember that or maybe you guys can leave a comment or something remember to do but anyway so let's get the showboat going shall we hurry the fudge monkey up we're almost there almost there almost there almost there Holy crap, is this going to be enough? I don't know. I have like enough bread for two pans. So I made two of them because I think I'm going to bring some to my work. See if they like it. For one of my recipes. They usually do. And they don't not, they're open-minded too, which is really cool. Because, oh. I'm gonna just finish off the rest of this because they really do like different ways of eating stuff they eat regular stuff most of them some of them have dietary problems Shoot, I don't think one of them can have cashews though. <coughs> well, there went that idea. Well, I'm still bringing it either that or it might be just so good again that who cares, right? Voila, that's all of them. And that is one of those big, huge ba uh, boxes from Costco. Isn't that crazy? And it all came down to this. Crazy. And it's seedless. And I think these ones are red, from what I remember. So, first off, I'm going to sneeze really hard. Okay, so you want to do a couple things is I'm going to add a combination of cashew butter.
And I'm going to put some in one of my containers on the bottom. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. And I'm going to put a combination of that and I'm going to put a combination of the Okay. I'm going to again use coconut sugar and you guys can use as much coconut sugar as you feel comfortable. Um, I am smothering it and lathering it on there. I don't know how much that is, like a fourth of a cup for the whole bread though. You can put nuts in here if you want to, but I'm not putting nuts. And by the way, if you can't get this, you should be able to have this n um, moist enough. Sorry. You should be able to have this moist enough to where it should roll fine, too. And if it doesn't, just smush it together. And it's not going to make that big of a difference. because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here in a minute. You can also roll it out on the parchment paper and that works too. Sometimes I do that too. Okay, now, I prefer a serrated knife is what I prefer to cut this because we are going to weave this in a pattern, okay? That is what we're going to be doing. So, Okay, so you can do a couple of different things, which I had bought in this whole thing, this thing, just for this. So you want to cut your bread into pieces. 
places. And so it's going to look like cinnamon raisin swirl bread like this, okay? And if you want to, you can get a step ahead and you can kind of get all of your stuff laid out together. And if it falls apart, if it falls apart, just smush it back together again. It's no big deal, okay? Okay, and now they're going to be little swirls, I promise, okay? So we got them in here, and this is going to be more brownish, okay? My last one I didn't put as much cinnamon in. This one I put lots of cinnamon in, so um, they're going to be brown. That's the thing about making homemade stuff. You know, they probably use some bleach flour and stuff like that. So if that's a concern, you know, use less cinnamon. Um, so what you want to do is you want to come back over here and you guys can see my little genre of stuff here, okay? So this is my eggs, my three eggs that are in here, okay? My, um, cashew butter, okay? Can you guys see that? Okay, cashew butter and my, um... my ghee okay then I have also this one too so what I did was I took some ghee and I stuck it in here and then I also stuck a bunch of the the um coconut sugar in here and then I want to also stick my cinnamon in here and then I also want to put it aside I am going to start up, give me a minute, and we're going to put this in here, too. There we go. And then that way, there's a ton of, um, let's bring you out, guys. You can't see what I'm doing here. Sorry. So, then there's a ton of sugar in there. And a ton of sugar in here with cinnamon on both of them. Set it aside just in case, but I'm pretty sure this is all going to be doing the same stuff. Now, you're going to need a messy hand and a dirty hand, of course. Okay, so we've got our dirty hand, our messy hand, all that stuff, which sheds some light on the subject here. Okay, so that's not going to matter anyway. I'm going to get the other one ready to go. Okay, so just to show you here, what you're going to do is you're going to take your bread that you did and you're going to dip it in the egg. Okay, so then it's all nice and coated. And then you're going to take it and you're going to put it in your dry mixture. If it falls apart, it's really not that big of a deal. We'll just put it back together again. Okay, 
and then stick it at if you guys can see this stick it at the front of your little pot thing or your pan whatever the hell that thing's called excuse me heck And then you just stick it in there. And smush it over. Ooh. Man, even these are too big for these things. So we'll start sticking in the other one. I swear to God, guys, it comes out really good. It just looks like I made a huge mess, that's all. Alright guys, so I'm going to finish off the other one. You guys don't want to watch me do another one. Um, I do like to put a little bit more ghee on the top of this. And so this is what it looks like. 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to 30. And then I will bring you back when both of them are done. Okay, so we'll see you back in a little while. But look at this bread. Look how yummy it looks. Um, it tastes wonderful. And <clears throat> it was like really cinnamony. And it reminds me of the bread that I used to have when I was a kid that came in the bag in Harvest Bread Company and stuff. And it's not made out of anything grainy there are no grains in this thing so um and it looks wonderful and it tastes wonderful and so i hope you guys inspire to do something wonderful in your life whatever it may be and inspire other people to do something wonderful in their lives and please subscribe like we are on all the social medias and um that way we can keep this channel going for fun and um have a wonderful rest of your weekends and try to make this raisin bread it's really good we'll see you next time on food aspire home and garden
Enjoy your weekend. Sorry, St <clears throat> still an asthma day after a week later, almost. And <clears throat> so sorry. Um, but look at this red, look how yummy it looks. Um, it tastes wonderful. And <clears throat> it's like really cinnamony. And it reminds me of the bread that I used to have when I was a kid that came in the bag and Harvest Bread Company and stuff and it's not made out of anything grainy there are no grains in this thing so um and it looks wonderful and it tastes wonderful and so I hope you guys inspired to do something wonderful in your life, whatever it may be, and inspire other people to do something wonderful in their lives. And please subscribe, like, we are on all the social medias, and um, that way we can keep this channel going for fun. And um, have a wonderful rest of your weekends, and try to make this raisin bread, it's really good. We'll see you next time on Food Aspire Home and Garden. Enjoy your weekend.